Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Uh, hello yes, today I'm going to explain a simple truss problem. It is a symmetric truss member with two roller support. We can convert this one as a symmetric one. The geometry unloading is symmetrical about the center line. The truss member is consisting of two different elements with a different cross-section radius. And we have to find out nodal reactions and also elemental stresses, right? So without wasting time, let us start modeling this structure. Processor element type. We have to add the element as nothing is defined, so we have to add it. We can consider link. It will be the easiest option. So selecting link with 3D finite strain. Material properties actually two types of different materials are there. We have to define materials from material models, structural, linear, elastic, and isotropic. That is properties will be equal in all directions. Modulus of elasticity of steel equal to 2E5. And we're considering Poisson ratio to be 0 0.3. We to apply for second material. And the material ID is 2. Again, exactly same, it will be elastic, isotropic, and 70 into 10 to the 3 Newton per millimeter square, it will be 7E4. And let us write Poisson's ratio to be 0 0.27. So two materials defined, one is steel and another is aluminium. Let us see that object. And the cross-sectional area is different. We are having two different cross-sectional areas of 100 mm square and 50 mm square. Steel is made up of 100 mm square and aluminium is 50 mm square. We are considering three different elements. Element one and element two made up of steel and element three is made up of aluminium. So let us provide cross section of these members. It will be coming from sections. Link. We have to add the areas. Sectional ID is 1. Let us provide name to this one as still. And cross sectional area is 100 millimeter square. Apply for the sectional ID2. We consider aluminium, and sectional area will be 50 millimeter square. Okay, so cross sectional area is provided. Next to that, we have to model that. And this is better to model with the nodes. In that case, we need not go for meshing. So we are starting modeling with nodes. Let us create nodes in active coordinate system. First node will be created at the origin. So let us apply. First node is made. Let us see the drawing and go for modeling. Second node will be created at x equal to 866 and y equal to 500. Applied. Second node is also made. Now the third node, it will be made at 866 and 1500 millimeter away. Done. So three nodes we have already defined. We have to connect these nodes in the form of elements and that can be done using elements. And also we have to see that element number one and two are made up of steel element attributes. We have to fix this one as steel and 
let's connect element number one and two through nodes select node number one and two apply similarly we have to select node number one and three okay so these two elements are made out of steel next to that you have to apply different material element attributes it will be material number two at the same time it will be made up of aluminium okay done auto numbered through nodes let us connect node number two and three okay so our model is ready but at the same time we have to see the drawing that at this location we are having roller support it is capable of sliding in the downward direction but it cannot move in the x direction so what we'll do is we'll change the orientation of this node we'll rotate the node by 90 degree create nodes by rotating node coordinate system by an angle select node number 2 apply and it should be rotated with respect to z axis by 90 degrees apply similarly node number 3 to be rotated with respect to z axis by 90 degrees okay done next to that we have to apply our boundary conditions let us see the boundary conditions from the problem itself node number one will be fixed that means it is restricted to move in x y and z directions all degrees of freedom should be fixed and node two and node three is capable of slide in up and down only it cannot move in x direction okay so let us provide that boundary conditions it will be coming from nodes define load structural displacement on nodes let us select node number one apply all degrees of freedom should be fixed okay next one you have to apply second boundary conditions at node number two define load apply structural displacement on nodes let us select node number two apply it will be restricted to move in the x direction it can slide in y direction only we have already rotated this node by 90 degree so we will reverse the direction of boundary condition instead of ux it will be uy and okay done same thing to be done for node 3 also select okay okay done so now boundary conditions are applied next you have to apply forces force moment on nodes node number two selected applied from here a force of 12.5 kilo newton force will be applied in the upward direction fy and the force value is 12.5 kilo newton it will be as we have rotated this node by 90 degree so instead of fy it will be fx applied exactly same way we have to apply double this load at node number three select node number three okay it will be 25 kilo newton okay so all the boundary conditions are applied next to that we have to solve it
solution current ls let us solve it ratioing solution is done that means everything is perfect we can view our results from general force processing initially we'll see your results from plot results deform shape and we're going to see deform plus undeformed that means we're going to see the original drawing and the change drawing it is showing that white drawing is the original drawing and blue is the change drawing by the application of force in the upward direction we can view this one in the form of 3d plot controls style surgeon shift and the display of element should be on as the cross section is very small so this is the object and for better view we can select the isometric view also right this is the object next to that we want to see some other things like nodal solution and we want to see displacement vector sum it is showing that maximum displacement occurs at node number Three, and the displacement value is equal to 2.8159 millimeter and minimum displacement occurs at node number one it is 0 0.204054 millimeter okay the same results we can view in the form of listing so list results can be viewed nodal solutions we want to see displacement vector sum It is the same representation what we saw before right it is showing that maximum displacement occurs at node number three which is 2.8124 millimeter right okay next one we want to see reaction solution we want to see reaction forces at the supports let us select all items it is showing reaction at different supports we are in three supports you can see the reactions at different nodes one two three next to that we have to find out forces and stresses acting on different members for that one we have to create that elemental table element table define element table nothing is defined so we have to add it we want to see force and stresses initially we will see force by sequence number it will be smisc1 element reference number one apply second one we want to see stress values acting on the different link members sequence number and ls1 okay update and close when you see the elemental stresses and also forces acting on the different members so plot elemental table and when you see stress values on acting on the different link members these are the stresses acting on different members maximum stress is occurring on link number one and maximum stress value is equal to 281.240 newton per million square acting on the steel member and minimum stress is and minimum stress occurs on the aluminium member which is in the range of 12.87 newton per millimeter square this is having minimum stress and this is having maximum stress Next to that, we want to see force acting on different members of this link. You can see maximum force is encountered on link number one, which is 28.124 kilonewton, and minimum force is acting on the aluminum member, which is 643.5 newton next to that we will see all these results in the form of listing 
list element table we're going to see all these results in the form of numbers you will see both stress and forces acting on these members together so it is showing both elemental stress and forces acting on the different members designing three different elements first one is showing force acting on different members it is showing that minimum force is acting on element number three which is 643.5 newton and maximum force is on element number two which is 28.124 kilo newton and similarly minimum stress is acting on element number three which is 12.87 newton per millimeter square and maximum stress is acting on element number two which is 281.24 newton per millimeter square okay so this is all about our today's simple analysis of a trust member all right thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye